In this problem, we're told an ice cube is placed in a microwave oven. Suppose the oven delivers 105 watts of power to the ice cube and that it takes 32,200 joules to melt it. How much time does it take for the ice cube to melt? So what we're told in this problem is that the power is going to be equal to 105 watts, right? That's going to be the oven. Uh, the oven's going to deliver this much power. We know the work done is going to be 32,200 joules because that's how much work it takes to melt it. What we're trying to find is how long this takes or the time. So the way we're going to solve for this is by using this formula, which is power is equal to work over time. So if we have the work and we have the power, what we can do is solve for time. And luckily, we're just given both of those. So if we want to solve this, all we have to do is just manipulate for t. So the time times the power equals the work. Divide by the power. And essentially, you just get the time that this will take is the work divided by the power. So in this case, the work is 32,200, and the power is 105. And so when you do this, make sure your work is measured in joules and your power is measured in watts, which in this case it is, but in other problems it might not be. So the work is going to be 32,200, and then you divide by the power, which is 105. So plug this in, 32,200 divided by 105. And when you go ahead and do that, you're going to get the time equals 306.6666 and so on. So it's about 307. And when you solve for time in this, you get seconds. So it's going to be 307 seconds or about that. And yeah, so if you want to convert it to minutes, you can. I'm just going to leave it in seconds, though. So about 307 seconds, that's going to be how long it takes for the ice cube to melt. So hopefully you found this useful.